Land Rover Defender 90 roof bars. So in this video, we're gonna look at fitting the crossbars. So these, you need to have the existing roof rails. When we've done the video fitting that, I'll put the link in the description below. So some cars come with these roof rails as standard. Um, this car didn't, did it? It's pretty high spec, but it didn't have those. So Destin and I fitted those. Um, but then you often want the bars that go across. And then you can put your planks of wood or your ski carrier or whatever else you want to do. Now, a um, couple of things we are going to look at in this video. We're going to look at how to fit them. We're going to look, are they compatible with our molly plates? Have you got room to get them in here? We are going to look, what is the difference between 90 crossbars and 110 crossbars? Because you may go on eBay and find some cheap 90 ones and say, will they fit my 110 or 110 ones cheap and will they fit my 90? I think they're the same, but maybe the lengths are different. But of Land Rover overthought it. We'll have a look. Rubbish packing. 300 pound bars from Land Rover. And this is how we got them, isn't it? This is how they come in from the dealer. Look, this isn't some dodgy eBay purchase. Not that purchasing things on eBay is dodgy, but these are brand new from the dealer. They're mashed. Anyway, we'll look at that. So we will unbox the bars, compare the difference between the 90 and the 110. Look if they fit on the car. Right, enough waffling. Let's get on, shall we? Destiny, can you remember which are the 90 ones? 90. 90. 110. 110. Right then. So this is, so this one's got a part number of our LRDB 173. Yeah, look, that's yeah, the that's the 90 ones. And that is the Land Rover part number there. You got that on the camera, sort of. So, right, so here we go. Right, what do we get in a kit? We get a rubbish box. Right then, we get keys. Now, sometimes we found with these, we take the keys out when we ship these, don't we? Because the keys often get, I guess, I guess the trouble is, I guess if you impact that, oh look, what a surprise. The key impacts the, so Land Rover, if you're listening, maybe they do, we don't know. Um, don't put the keys in when you ship these and up the grade of your cardboard, because this cardboard is just rubbish. Let's down a good quality product. Oh, it's got a key in both ends. Look at that. So you have to take the key out of both ends. That is rubbish. Oh, well, that one's still got some air in it. Right. Um, sh 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 what do we get? So we get a key. We get two bars. We get a middle divide. Look. They've thought this out a bit. Each end has got a little sock on it. So have we got... Why have we got two locks? Is there a lock on the end of this bar? So there's a, there's, there's a lock at the end of each one. Is that right? This is that aero strip, a streak. Apparently putting that on stops noise, apparently. Right, oh, we've got like a, well, that's a hell of a tool, isn't it, Destiny? Mmm. Mm. Look at that. Ergonomic. Yes, it is sort of, oh, it is. It's the mother of all beasts, that is. That, oh, look, and it's even, they've even written open and close on the end for us, so look. We can pretend we got. Oh, this is these classic instructions that are not instructions that just tell you to go to that website. That's the really hard one to navigate. We will put the link to the instructions down below in the description. We'll probably have to get them out ourselves, won't we, Destiny? Right. How do you get that out of there? Oh, look. Is these? They've made a little. Oh, it's foxed me. That I failed at the first hurdle, Destiny. I can't even unwrap the box. How's Ah, oh, we got it, we got it. Destiny's on it, look. Oh, no, I've ripped it. No, no, I don't know if you have. I don't really? know. There you go, you got to unwrap that. Goodness me. Right then. So we've got keys. So we've got, hold on. we got four keys. Stroof. We're all keyed up here. Right then, so are all the keys the same? Are they numbered? Let's have a look. So that key has got an N151 on it. Has that lock got a 151 lock on it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that 151 as well. Yeah, the key is. I can see the key is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do they give you... Don't tell me, is that the same, same or different? Oh, okay, I'll better read the key. Yeah, that's 151. There you go. So it looks like you've got four keys and you probably only need to carry one in the car. That's fine. Better too many than too few. Right. So, right. Are they both the same? Oh, no. They're clearly both not the same, Destiny. Look at that. I've lined them up the same at that end. 
but they are def there's definitely some difference in length going on here. Right, we've got no other fittings other than the key in our thing. Right, let's just have a look at the 110 ones, shall we? Oh, not at risk of getting confused. Right, if we leave the socks on the, on the 110 ones, oh, there's no key in this one. Is that because we've taken them out? Shh. All right, hold on. We're going to have to put this back together, Destiny. Look at the state of it. Right then. Right, that's the 110 one. Oh, can you hold that for me, Destiny? You got that? Pour off. Right, that's the 110 one. We can remember this. Right. So what is the difference? Has the, has the 110 one got a... They've got a long one and a short, a short one, but it's not as pronounced, is it? Right, we've got it all organised. Come around here, Desi. So we've got them all perfectly aligned to the glass on this side. So when well, we've written 90 secretly in the channel, so we know which ones are. So if we look at the longer ones, they're right. There's not a lot of difference between those two, is there? They're using the same profile bar. That all looks the same. All right, and let me move that one next to the other one. So it looks like the only difference is that, that short one. So... The 90, the two long ones look like the same. It looks like the shorter one. Right, so let's get the instructions, Land Rover's instructions, up on the screen now, and we'll have a look what we're supposed to do. Right, so we've read the instructions. We think we've got it sorted, and we've actually trial-fitted one, so we almost look like we know what we're doing. Although Zach, who's helping us, as wasn't involved in the trial. Right, first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna put the car in access mode, and I think we get a little bit more by pressing the down button. Oh, what if you've got one of those commercials without the air suspension? Oh, it's bad news. You're going to have to hope you're tall. Wait. Right. Okay, so that's giving us a bit more. Right. So what have we got to do now? So we have got to remove. So the lock is not locking the bar. The bar, the, it only locks the cap. So if you unlock it, have it horizontal, the cap is then, it sort of floats about freely like so. Um, and then you can just squeeze those in. Boop. Okay. And I'll show you, I've, I've done some colouring on the other side. Now, those, I think, caps are the same left and right, front to back, they're all the same. So on this side, I've coloured in a few little key features for you. So, same again, you do this. Now, you can see here the little holes, you've got to get those in. Um, interesting, when you put them on, each side has got this little claw. Can I call it a claw? This bit here. And that needs to locate into that slot there so I'll show you now so we don't have to do it up on the car roof so you're going to put that back in and then if you get it right it, it and everything lines up nicely if you get it a little bit out it it won't be right so look at that gap when you put it in. but to get it right just open it up again and it'll all right so remove your end caps before you get on your roof right so in the packet you get two strips of equal length um, now, I don't think there's a front and back way of doing this. Um, the, oh, the profile looks the same, so it looks symmetric, so I don't think it's going to matter. Um, but basically, you've got to fit this. They make you they do the assembly for them, look. Clever like that. So you have to press it in the middle. All right, I'll finish this. Right. Also, if you are fitting a bike rack or anything, what you you have to do is you have to cut a section out. So this would be the time now to fit your T-bolts that slide in. So you get some of the fittings. If you look from the, slide, the side there, they slide in to this gap here. In fact, I might have a couple of T-bolts. Yep, so a T-slot bolt will be something like this. That slides in there. And then you'll slide it to wherever you need it for the spacing of whatever you want. Cut your thing there and have another shorter piece but we're just going to go all the length but there you go there's some t-slot bolts right now i've done it to the end of the aluminium both front and rear because when the caps cover they cover over past the end of you so, so you can see it it doesn't matter because the caps will cover any of your hideous cutting and such like there you go just cut that with a pair of scissors now we have got some grease here a little sachet of grease. Right, so let's do that one. Oh, it's tight. Right then. I got some thread lock going on. Right, 
So we are going to take some grease up on the roof with us. We, this isn't supplied by Land Rover, but I think it might be handy. So we're going to kit this up. Remind me, we've got to get that added. Right, now, so the front bar is the, the rear bar, we're starting at the rear, is the shorter one. It narrows at the back of the car. And it also has a little diagram on here. So you can see the little arrow there. It's got a picture of the car, and that's telling you this bar is the rear bar. Um, also, make sure that arrow, which is pointing frontwards, is pointing frontwards. So we'll keep the bar in this orientation. Right, that's all good. Do you want to grab that end, Zach? So it does say this is a two-person job. So you want to get it up, over. Whoop. Okay, right, here we go. Right, now if you just move to this forward a bit. So you will note on the roof that you have got this sort of big cutout, and then you've got this little notch. And what's going to happen is this, this, little, this little bit here is going to come along and then it's going to fire into this notch. And that means it won't slide forwards or backwards under braking and acceleration. But this is your entry square. So line it up with your entry, your entry square. Okay, are you in, Zach? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now this is where we probably, when we were moving back earlier, was kind of tricky. Now I've lubed your side up, haven't I? What have I done with my lube? Now you can try it without the lube but i'm gonna i'm gonna give i guess you could use fairy liquid or something all right here we go all right i'm just gonna it just it was just a bit tricky wasn't it all right now we're just gonna put a bit of that all around here whoa don't break my glass roof so this is just silicon i think it'll just help it right. i'm gonna do any arm silicon it's a protector isn't it? right then Okay, otherwise I get greasy fingerprints. It's the only downside. Right then, let's have a go again. Right then, are you in, Zach? Yeah. Right, and let me check. Right, now we may have to pull, you may have to pull the little, did you have to pull your little, hold on, go back a bit. We, we've got to do this in unison, Zach. Yeah, I did pull. You did pull. I'm, I'm, mine's, mine's not, hold on, I'm going to take mine out in a minute. Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me try and get back in again. Right. It, it seems to be going of its own accord. It's going somewhere. Now it should fire fire in to the correct. Mine's, mine's not. Mine's not firing in. What's yours doing, Zach? Your screw might be too loose. And, yeah. Is that is, is there a thing where you could have the screw too loose? Because that's no. Mine's not firing. All right. We're going to try and tighten the screws up a bit. Right, so basically, I, I managed to get these little pulls. Can you see them moving there? Mm -hmm. I managed to get those on top of here. It hadn't gone in right. So I, I think you've got to make sure you get all, all this aligned at the start. All right, and let's have another go. Right, I oh, know, see it? That jumped out, right. Right. Ah, now that's it. That that's that's locked in now. Are you locked in, Zach? No. no right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you. No. no. The mine's locked in. Ah, but if you pull it. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, try tighten it fractionally. So what you're looking for, it's not foolproof, is it? You're looking for it to be purely in location, and if you pull that. You can move it back, but watch it fire again. There you go. That's what you're looking for, is that motion where it fires in. Right, let's go and see how Zach's getting on. Right, so when you're sure that's located in, it is a bit hit and miss. It's not. Right, you can look that up. You get me a cap, Zach, and then we'll put the cap on. Right, when you think you've got this tight, well, this actual tool is a bit tricky. It's got a torque. Um, limiting thing in it. So as you tighten it, it should click when it's reached the sufficient tightness. Here we go. There you go. You hear that click? That means that's tight enough. So just as a double check before you put the end caps on, go around and get them all tightened to that amount. Right. One thing to note is that I, I did think earlier that these two are the same, 
but if you look the distance from the hump to the is different because of the aerofoil shape of the bar you can see those two there so be careful these are handed left and right i don't think they say left and right in them on all that writing on there no they don't no i can see um so but make sure you get those when you put them back on right so that is that that is all in and on thank you zach right and then let's put the put the cap on so we go in there in there get it up so it's nearly on there you go and that looks like it but it's not closed at the top there is it so hold on uh, make sure you got the key key horizontal and then you have got to put a bit of squeeze on it there you go and that is it done right we'll just put the front one on i think the front one's going to be the same but notice it's totally compatible with our molly plates you've got this chunk here so just as a reference you've got this glass um alpine light here the rear bar when it's fitted will be in line with the rear the rear edge is in line with the rear edge of the glass and i think the front one will be pretty much the same you can see this cut out so they don't go interestingly they don't go further forward that cut out at the front i think is for the expedition plate the feet for the expedition roof rack go in there right so they are going to be quite close together but let's get the front one on and see how we do right we should be pros now so let's have a go so we're gonna on the front one pull that in into the open gap all right there. yeah oh, he's a little bit tight and loosen him a bit how's yours all right Zach? yeah that's better all right and then i'm looking for it clicking in oh he's he's he's, he's half clicking in doing it again i've messed up again zach it's not ah there you go i had to i had to push that in right that's in you good yeah. right let's tighten these up so there seems to be no problem with the front so by the 91s they do fit with our molly plates there's only two positions you can fit them in now the next video we will try and fit some awning brackets because we launched the awnings last week and people were saying can you fit the awning brackets to the crossbars so that you can have an awning without buying the full expedition roof rack? We will investigate that. Bear in mind, if you've got roof loads on, Land Rover's disclaimer is don't drive above 60 miles an hour. Don't brake heavily or accelerate heavily. Um, remember, on the V8, they say you can't fit roof racks. I think you can, but we'll agree to differ on that. And also remember, your height is now higher. So if you're going into a garage, yeah, you'll have to watch that destiny i think we'll be all right in here won't we um but your your roof height is higher so remember that if you're going into a multi-story car park remember you can lower your suspension if you need to i've waffled enough hope that helps goodbye